Now this little guy's not a pet. He's a wild animal who's been orphaned and been brought here to the center to be raised before being released back into the wild. The Wildlife Rehabilitation Center is kind of like a hospital, only for wild animals. And here to tell us how they rescue all sorts of animals is Philip Jenny. Hello, Phil. Hi, Andy. Welcome. Can you tell me more about this room we're in? Sure. I'd better put him back in his cage. What we'll do with these cages, you can see these, uh, these are their cage charts. So this tells us how, what size the animal is, how often it's been fed, who's fed it. Kind of keeps us uh, on track with the animals as they're growing through. As Phil shows me around the nursery, out in the lobby, it's looking like they better grab another cage for some new arrivals. Well, we have two baby squirrels. Ah. We found them in our driveway. I'm not sure what's the matter with them. I'm going to take them in the other room and transfer them over. Little squirrels look pretty good. We're going to take a look at them and okay. everything. We think that maybe a cat might have gotten them. Yep. Cats are notorious for doing that, so, but that's good for us to know too. Um, we'll give the vet a heads up. If you want to find out how they're doing, you can send us an email. Okay. Um, and we'll send you an email reply back. Yes, Kyle would like to know. Well, it was very good of you to bring them in. You probably saved their lives, so. Phil and I have moved on to a larger rodent who's here not because he's injured or orphaned, but because he's gotten a little too comfortable with people. He's a good indication of why at home you shouldn't try to keep a wild animal. Um, he's been habituated to people, what we call socialized, and we really no longer can release him in the wild because he doesn't really know what being a wild woodchuck is. So what are you going to do with him? Well, what we do in this case, and occasionally we'll, we will have animals like this, we'll try to find uh, an appropriate licensed facility like a zoo or a nature center, and they'll use him as, a, uh, as an education animal. Now these little guys look cute enough to keep as pets, but despite the best intentions, it's really not a good idea. And even though you've got them in a cage here, you would never recommend that this is a good pet. It's difficult to replicate their diet, so a lot of times, even if you do want to ha help care for the animal, um, the worst thing that could possibly happen is you're caring for it and it dies in your care because you don't know how to care for it. I see. And really what you want to do is bring it to the people like us who know how to sure. raise these kinds of animals. Absolutely. We never name the animals. We, we try to have that emotional distance because we are a hospital, so we don't want to get too attached to them. And we're kind of in that little backwater area. Cormorants so, and pelicans tend to go where there's a little slower water. Okay. Um, so this is a perfect spot for them. So one of the things uh, when we uh, when we do release this, we never really know what's going to happen. They they might jump out of there just happy as can be to be away. They might be really frightened and kind of hang in the back where we almost have to dump the cage okay, out. Okay. So you never really know. All right. You ready to do this? All set. This is what it's all about. This is what it's all about. This is what we're here for. All right. Cool. There they go. There they go. There's one there cormorant. There they go. And just. There he goes. Looks like, he, looks, he looks like he's at home, though. Yeah. That's what we look for. Yeah. yeah he's... What a beautiful Wow, snake. isn't that great? Very healthy. That's pretty good. He's getting up. Oh, very natural. Yeah, yeah. They're very cautious when they first come out sometimes because they, they tend to want to look around a little bit and get the bearings. There he goes. He's got his bearings and off he goes. And he got up quick. Beautiful. Yeah, that's actually, he got up much quicker than uh, I expected. It's a sign of really, really good shape. So you had him long enough to rehab him back to health? Yep. And now they're off flying away. Wonderful. We hope we never see him again.